and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Before we jump into today's video, we got a massive, giant, huge announcement that today, link down below, is all new Beefcake merch. That's right, we brought it back, folks. I said I would, not and we did brand new designs, including this guy right here. This is a brand new Beefcake logo, as well as, look at that, Beefcake. Oh, look at that, Beefcake plumbing, laying pipes since 1969. We've also oh, got yeah. some Ralphie shoes. Merch. And of course, being hunting season, we are all big rack guys. So if you guys are big rack guys like us, link down below is the brand new Beefcake merch and it's super, super, super limited. Once it is gone, it is gone. We are not restocking it ever. Like you will never see these designs ever again for the rest of eternity, okay? So if you guys see anything you like, you wanna snag it for the holiday season, you gotta do it, you gotta do it quick. And it is linked down below. We are shipping stuff till somewhere like mid-ish December, early second week of December, first week in a week and a half of December. There's a cutoff date. There's a cutoff date. So if you guys are watching this on the day that everything launched, I really highly suggest you get it if you want it for the holidays. If you want it as a gift, you want to give it as a gift or whatever it is, I would suggest getting it ASAP. Do not wait. Do not do what I do, which is last minute holiday shop for Christmas. You got to get it done right now. Otherwise, you're going to miss the boat and it will never come back again. Big Rack Guy, Beefcake Plumbing Lane Pipes since 1969, shoe merch and brand new sick merch. We've got hoodies, t-shirts, all the above, and it is linked down in the description down below if you guys want to go check it out. With that being said, Enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. We're starting the day off. We are at the cabin pond, and as you guys saw, we stocked some trout. Now, I'm curious, did any of them die? And I don't see any, unless the otter ate up, or the raccoons too. Oh, dude, if there was some dead against the bank last night, I bet them raccoons got it. I don't see any swimming, but these are supposed to be like feed trained. I mean, that's how they got so big, as they were raised on feed. So we've got some food. All I could find was dog food. So I know it's not fish food, so hopefully they don't die. But I wanted to see if they would eat. Eat. Otherwise, we need to go buy some fish food. And basically, Beamer was saying, until the water freezes, they'll eat. Like, they'll come up and crush foods. I mean, I think we might need to go buy some, some fish food, but let's go ahead and see what these suckers can do. That was sick, dude. I'm glad we got these trout. <laughs> That'll be a lot of mother here. Jump in. Start splashing around, making little explosions. You can throw like a little rock in there. I don't know. What would If you were a fish, what would get you all excited? They're not used to being in a pond, you know what I mean? I guess they're probably more used to like fish tank, a little swimming pool. I don't know it's where they came from or what they look like, but I'm sorry you don't see. I guess maybe they're just oh deeper. God, they were like hitting the top. Dude, they were, they were busting. Like they were literally busting at the surface when we got them. Oh, rip. That's not good. I, I have fish feeders. Like I have the automatic feeders. We could set one up. This is not good. This is not good at all. Really? Wow. I, I was like expecting like a cool intro for you guys. I, I, I apologize. I, I thought we were on to something. I thought I was like, oh guys, instead of go feed the animals, go feed our fish. Well, that's not really doing a whole lot of good. We might have to go feed the animals instead. There's just not a whole lot happening. I thought for sure you'd get one. The thing is, once you get one, it's all over. But I don't know where they're at and maybe like whatever sound they're used to when they get fed is what we have to somehow it, like imitate right now. You and me throw at the same time. One, two, three. Oh. That... I like that. That was My good. Word. That was the old combo, yeah. Come on, fish. Like, you wouldn't even know we put fish in here. I mean, we thought we'd give them a few days and relax, and then they should be even hungrier. There ain't nothing. We might have to set the actual feeder up and get them, like, so, like, they can hear it hitting the water. It's going to take one. One of them's going to come up and and munch and it's gonna start just absolute feeding friends but i don't know how to get that started the problem is it is a little windy because if it wasn't windy that stuff would float in the middle i bet they'd eventually figure it out but this is all just gonna get blown into the bank you didn't see any swimming did you no i didn't you guys have to let us know what you think maybe Ooh, i know what we should have brought cans of corn bro you could throw canned corn out there and they would crunch because it would sink and i have canned corn canned corn is what you need you need to make like a little corn rocket shooter slingshot corn shooter that shoots canned corn that would probably get them fired up and then you could probably throw you know your dog food or your fish food on top of that maybe get them i don't know let me know what you guys think can, can corn i feel like it's probably a good idea I don't, I don't know how else to get them fired up they're just not they're not about the the dog food life right now and all of it's just blowing right here like i haven't seen a single one get excited sorry to let you guys down but we do have an exciting video this was not exciting i i really thought we were gonna have some excitement here but it's just i don't know maybe we need to try corn in the next video I'll, I'll read your guys the comments let me know what you think but i think today's video should be cool for you guys so you guys absolutely loved the go-kart video right we went to tractor supply bought a go-kart took it back tuned it up we got the gov not the governor removal we just tune up some stuff you guys absolutely loved it. You're like, oh, you need to add light bars, whatever. So we went on Facebook last night, Facebook Marketplace. And we're like, man, should we buy another go kart? You know, what could we do? I was trying to come up with like a cool video because it's nice outside. It's not cold yet or nothing like that. What could we do? And we start looking around, and there's this gentleman who sells miniature Jeeps. And when I say miniature Jeeps, it's literally like a Jeep, and now it's mini. It, it, it's not a go kart. It's literally a Jeep, and it's miniature. He has two of them. So I talked to him a little bit last night, and he also has a four wheeler. And I was like, okay, let's just do a combo pack. Buy buy all three and get get a discount. Well, I didn't really get a discount, but I figured we need a mini four wheeler. You guys. 
remember the OG Mini. It's like a little 90. Things an absolute pile of junk. It never ran from the day we bought it to now. It doesn't work. And now we and we popped the tire, so the tire doesn't work on it. So we need to get it something fixed, something new. And I was like, instead of getting it fixed, we should just get a new ATV. So he's got a 125, and he's also got two mini Jeeps. Like these are literally miniature Jeeps, but they rip. So a stock, I think he said 30 miles an hour is what he was telling me. He said, but if you do a little tweaking and tuning, 50 miles an hour and they're street legal, they're road legal, like you can rip these suckers. So although we didn't get these suckers fired up, we maybe try some corn next time or maybe have to put a real feeder out here. We are going, to, oh. Oh, I saw, I, saw I saw a V, on. I saw a V. Okay, anyway, so we are gonna run back up, I guess chalk up the L for the trout adventure today. Big rip. Uh, but we are gonna go run and load up the huge trailer, big orange trailer, and get too many Jeeps and a four-wheeler, three units today, bring them back, rip them around, and we might. I don't know how hard, it, I'll have to ask him how hard it is to tune it up to 50 miles an hour. That might have to be another video, it just depends what we gotta do. If all we gotta do is take out a little screw like we did on the, the bro pad and the go-kart, then we'll do it. But if it's something more, I guess, extravagant or a little bit trickier, then we might have to wait, but we'll see. Either way, we're gonna go pick up some mini Jeep and get them ready to rock and roll. And then you guys have to comment down below what modifications you want to see us do to these suckers. I've seen people plow snow with them. I've seen them put winches on them, light bars on them. And they're literally Jeeps, but they're miniature. Little hunting vehicles, whatever it might be. Easy to conceal in the woods. You have to let us know what you guys think once we pick them up. And with that being said, let's go get the Jeeps. <laughs> We made it. So this morning, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go take the trailer, go pick some up. You're like, what are you buying? Well, there's multiple things. And I wouldn't tell you. And <laughs> have you seen them? Go look at them. Are they go-karts? They're not go-karts. They're miniature Jeeps. And a four-wheeler. He threw a four-wheeler in. Oh, okay, good. Thanks. Well, I mean, I bought it, but <laughs> he had it. And I was like, I mean, my trailer's big enough, so I might as well just throw it on there. Was it when you bought the donkeys, you were only gonna buy one? And you're like, no, we can fit a second one in the truck. Yeah, uh, we loaded up we the Jeeps, and I was like, that four-wheeler looks pretty neat. The thing is, the mini four-wheeler that we have, absolutely sucks and we need to get rid of it so we bought a new one and it's a hundred and one twenty five and these are one twenty five as well so we got mini jeeps for how's she doing sleeping we got you your new ride that's gonna that's <laughs> where you're gonna get your learners from it is off one of these little suckers you can tune these suckers up buddy he gave me a lot what was that what was that called a sprocket he gave me an upgraded sprocket he says these suckers were at 50. they're street legal you can put a license plate and everything they're street legal that doesn't mean that you should that, no that means we definitely should <laughs> ralph ralphie will you see the jeeps buddy we should take them in the animal pen today and just run around and see what they do. Dude, we could take them off-roading in the animal pen. Dude, we should definitely do it. We're gonna have to see what Ralph thinks. He might uh, curb stomp our ass if we go in there with the Jeeps. But... Big boy, what you thinking, pal? You see the Jeeps? You see the Jeeps, my guy? That's what I said. They're badass. I don't know what Macy's talking about. They're the best investment I've made yet. M Lucy, that's my camel. You calm down. Can you never seen Ralph before? Is this new to you or what? What you thinking, big boy? You having a good day? How's that wind up there? Rick, dang, looking thick, son. What are you doing with that ass? How you doing, buddy? Doing all right? You want me to come in the pen and hang out with you for a little while? Okay. All right. How's it? Okay, that tickles my neck. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? You mean to come in the pen and hang out? We can take the Jeeps inside the pen if you want. We'll come hang out with you, Ralph. That, that's what we're gonna do. So we, the guy we bought them from, he said that we need to run them for like 30 minutes and then we need to change the oil. Drain it, change it, because he said they'll be like shiny parts, meaning like pieces of metal. Gotta get those out and then we should be good to go. The break-in period. Things I'm really good at breaking stuff in. I'll tell you that much. Every time I get something, I'm like, oh, break-in period? Say less. We're getting the trailer charged up because the trailer was dead. We're gonna get these suckers unloaded. We got two Jeeps, as you see, two mini Jeeps and the four-wheeler. And they're all 125 size engine CC. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about it. I mean, the go kart was the start of this. Well, actually, the bro pad right here was the start of it. And then we got the go kart. You guys loved the go kart video so much. I was like, well, sheesh, we should go buy something else that is maybe kind of cool. And we started looking on Facebook Marketplace and found miniature Jeeps. And I think they are by far the coolest. I mean, the go kart's one thing. I mean, I got the go kart up to 30 and then crashed it. So the thing is, these suckers don't have roll cages and yet. They don't have roll cages yet. Yeah. Yet. We're buying welders. We're gonna make some roll cages for the. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but these are pretty sick. So Anyways, we're gonna get them unloaded off the trailer. We'll give you guys a closer walk around. Take them for a rip, you stay tuned. All right, hopefully this is charged. Boys ready? Oh, the old lock. All right, yeah, the boys are out. Look at the fleet. All right, here we go. Oh God, yeah, it's working now. Just gotta get a quick little juice charge. You'll be all right. Yeah. That about right? Yeah. How's it feel? Oh yeah. Look at you guys. All right, I gotta try to get this sucker off now. I didn't even sit in these before I bought them. Y'all were ripping them around. All right, is this the e-brake? Yeah. Oh God. Oh, yes, oh sheesh. Man. Oh, sheesh. Hey. Oh. All right, so what do I got? Pull the choke out, turn it, choke in. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, these things sweet. Oh, baby. Oh, get the old mini going. Be popping hella wheelies on that sucker. Yeehaw. That seat's in reverse, neutral, first. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're gonna be riding hella wheelies, that sucker. Ooh. Look at you. <laughs> oh, I love being a child. This is great. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, now we're cruising. <laughs> Look at us. Just hit it. Just said, oh God. Dude, these are crazy. These are money, dude. How's that? Let me take that sucker for a rip. I gotta check out the old four wheeler. Right. Like, look at this kid. Dude, why are these so <laughs> sick? He's, this is way better than a go kart. Like, way better than a go kart. We got a big package. Hang on. All right, how's the sucker work? Does that have a clutch? No. What's this thing? You just, okay, so go up for. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta sit my ass in the basket. Yeah. I get a nice go. wheelie going. Whoa. Yeah. Dude, this thing's slow. You gotta go faster than that. Why is that so slow? Are we sure there's not gear? It's like it's trying to go in like third. Like. It gets going, but it don't go very quick out the gate. Like, dude, my other 90's way faster. It gets going, but just not like, from the start, it, like you couldn't do a burnout or a wheelie or nothing. My racing car was like three grand, so maybe I did trade down. Can you do a wheelie? They don't have like, they don't have the pawn like to pop. Dude, that one, you can pop it. He told me I wouldn't like it, he went wrong. Oh God. So slow. Whoa, does that full throttle? Yeah. Bro, that's trash. Yo, something's wrong. That's trash. You think it's a screw? That is trash. It is. He was like, you're not gonna like it. I'm like, bro, I have a 90 and it rips to 125, but he wasn't wrong. That thing's worthless. I bought it just so I could do wheelies. I can rip wheelies on the other one. Can we take the tires off this one and put it on the other one? Bro, that 90 shreds. It's Still a works. piece of shit and it starts half the time and it works. Do you just do a tire swap? Well, should we Google this? I bet it's gotta go faster. 125? Yeah. You gotta think, this thing's made for like nine year old kids. Bro, so is that. It's just for little John Tyler to rip around the backyard and just have a good time walking. We can get it faster. There's no way. We can get that fast. Comment down below, how do we get that? There's no way. Like, these are the same size engine, right? The only reason why I bought this is because I want to do a wheelie today. It's the only reason. Eventually. Bruh, I'm like low key mad. All I wanted today was to do a. Oh god. <laughs> All I wanted to do was a wheelie. Down of the gun. There's gotta be a way to make that thing faster, dude. I think we should mess with the throttle. The low end speed, like when you, like off the line, is just trash. It doesn't have any power. Bruh. All right, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. Let's mess with the throttle thing first. There's no way that sucker's that slow. We are taking it. Should we take it out or do you just like losing it a lot? It's making it go back. Really? Yes. Dude, it's, it's still opening it. It's opening it. It's still opening it right now. It's still opening it. It's still going. All right, I think that's all she wrote. Give her a rip. Dude, that opened her way up. I mean, way up. Oh, no. Dude. Is it better? It may just be top end speed, but it opened it up. I bet it's just top end speed. Give it a thumbs up. I mean, it's not worse. We just basically took out the throttle screw. Oh, he's shredding, bro. He's shredding. Let's go. Oh, no, oh, rip. <laughs> rip. Oh, God. Yay or nay? Definitely has more throttle, but I still feel like it should have like gears to switch to. It mean, feels like you're ripping at first gear at 30 miles an hour. It's still the same. <laughs> I just about rolled to something. way faster oh, yeah. but it don't have any more like torque like i'll be honest i like my other four-wheeler way better i can shred like like wheelies i can do the whole thing this thing i, I almost rolled it you missed it. i almost rolled yeah. it right there let me call Braden. might have an idea ask him how do i juice this sucker up the jeeps are bad i know this whole video is about the jeeps and we're like ah the four-wheeler we gotta fix the four-wheeler jeeps are dope i mean we could definitely make some improvements i think bigger tires for like for snow we need to put a winch on it and a plow and a light bar what else could you could you lift them do you think i don't know if you would dude they're, they're already like me. pretty let's see what Braden bryce has to say yo Hey, I need some professional advice. Yo, what's up? I've got a 125cc four-wheeler, a 
the spot and it's slow as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Undid the uh, throttle screw so we got some more top end speed. Is there anything you can do to get it so we can pop a wheelie so it's got a little bit more torque out, out the gate or am I just out of luck uh, here? Is that thing belt driven? Yo, shit, you're asking the wrong guy here. Give me to FaceTime you, are you busy? Stuck in a hotel room. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, God, yeah. I'll get you the full picture. We also bought mini Jeeps, by the way. Miniature Jeeps. But I bought this. We undid this thing, which was cool. But it didn't, it didn't let me pop a wheelie. I bought a cheaper Chinese. He said cheap Chinese one. Rip. You could probably put a bigger rear sprocket on it. I'll give you more. Rear, rear sprocket. That's what buddy, the buddy I bought it from said to do. And that, yeah. would, that would give us more up and go out the gate. Yeah, that's about all you can Okay. I got I got like a 90. I think it might be like a racing quad because I can pop wheelies with that sucker and I thought this would maybe be a little bit better, but maybe not. Bigger sprockets, what you're thinking. Oh yeah, 100%. Okay, any Braden Price official advice on what to do with these things? You got two of them. You need to put a light bar on it. Light, okay, yeah, we said light bar. We said light bar, winch. We want to put a snow plow on it. Anything else you got? Uh, you're the creative guy. Not off the top of my head. You can tint that tint the windshield that's a new Let's one go. all right all right we'll do that i appreciate the advice i'll get the sprocket going hey i might swing through nebraska here in like 10 or so days 10 days i'll be here you just let me know all right, all right see you man brayden says change that sprocket son which does not sound like something we're doing today i mean i'm down the thing is my 90 minus the tires in general is just a pile of shoot i spent like three grand on it and like day one it wouldn't like hardly start just junk should we go look for see if we can tire swap it all right check let's go out. check it out I doubt this is actually even start. Oh, oh yeah! It's the first fire up like in a year. Can we swap them? Alright, see you guys in the beefcake garage. I think it sucks. I love that thing. I don't know why we bought this one. Should've just got a new tire. You ever buy a four-wheeler just to swap the tires? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, man. TBH. I didn't realize how blessed, I always like, those things are piece of crap. Brain's like, that Chinese piece of crap. See, it should come before I bought it. I realize how blessed I am with this, although it does just have, it started. I had to send it up. Dude, I sent it in and they did like $1,000 in tune-ups and it came back and it still like didn't work. Should we just block it up? All right, block let's go block it up. Oh, dude. All right, sockets, let's get that tire changed. 17 millimeter. How does that happen? Was it money? Yeah! Bruh! Barely. Okay. I gotta take, take the other one off. I think they're 17 lugs too, or no? No, you're not. 15. 15. Oh, 15. She's free. Perfect. Yes! Like a Let's go, buddy! Yee! I'm hand tighten those ready. I'll get the other one off. All right, tires off. Bingo. Tire swap. Buddy, let's go. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Wait, going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Watch out for the Jeep. It's brand new. Not insured. We gotta sell that Chinese one we just bought. This thing's a freaking unit. Distracted. We got the Jeeps and we're like, we're more excited about the four wheel I've owned for two years and just put new tires on it. But after riding the Chinese piece of crap, got her up and running, that's all that matters. I think it's time we take the Jeeps inside the animal pen and see who gets hit by Ralph first. Last alive, I think <laughs> wins. <laughs> oh, all the juice is all she needed. Too, riding too deep in the old Jeep. Here we can pop a wheelie now. Turning race ain't that great. I feel like we're gonna roll. All right, shift her down, open the gate. Oh, buddy, get in. Welcome to the 
safari. Two <laughs> beefcakes wise a little much. What can go wrong? There's quite a few hills. I've never felt so unsafe. Going on a safari! Yee -hee. Dale! Uh-oh, here we go. Rick! We got the Jeep, Rick! Look at the new wheel, buddy. Steve! You got cockaburs in your hair. Look at look at Steve. <laughs> Zoom on, Steve. Look at him. Steve! He got leaves stuck in his mullet. Oh, all the animals are coming up now. Ralphie! I told you we'd come visit you, buddy. This is how we should feed the animals every day. Just come in. Oh, we have like a little bucket of grain on the on the front and we all just come oh. in here. Cars here. Let's go to say hi to the rest of the guys here. <laughs> Ralphie! Woo! We're coming. Watch out, Steve! We're coming, Ralph. Ralphie! What do you think of the new whip? Please don't hurt us. Hi, <laughs> buddy. It's me. It's me. Do you recognize me? Oh, God, please. Please. For the love of God, please don't hurt me. What's oh. that leg doing? Ralph? Oh, shoot. He's going to get Luke. Put in reverse! <laughs> oh, he's going to beat your ass now. Ralph, look, I'm as tall as you, buddy. This is what it's like to be big boy Ralph. What's up? What are you doing with that leg? You got that stanky leg going. Oh, snap. Where are you going? What is Rick? Hey, no, you ain't the price tag. No, that's the manual. That's the, that's the owner. Rick. Rick. Now we can't return it. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Don't. You just trying to eat your knife. Try to eat my knife. This is better than a safari, okay? Oh, yeah. Look, we got the cow coming. She's going to come check it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he ain't, he's not sure about it. Carol, <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You can go for a ride? I bet we can make a one axle trailer. Oh, God, dude. She, watch her just T-bone this sucker. It is red. Is she like a bull? Is that, is that how this works? Oh. She, dude, imagine her just like taking it out. Oh. Carol, it's all right. This is the new feed wagon. This is how we're going to deliver your grain. Hey, buddy, watch what you're doing there, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone's gonna get hurt, I can tell. He's not too sure about it. Rick, look, they're all just like, what the hell are you guys doing? Kind of wanna see Carol just like absolutely T-bone us right now. Yeah, me too. Like flip us upside down and just start curb stomping it. He's like a shark circling, like getting on blood set and it's just going in circles. Hey, don't bite my leg, buddy. Look, remember this? That was you. Hey, 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 that's Whoa. my ass. Easy, that's for banjo only. All right, keep it straight. Well, he's eating shiny stuff. You see that? He just tried to eat the clip. Pedro's like, ain't nobody gonna mess with me down here. <laughs> you can go for a ride. You got some crusties in your eye. Hi, buddy. How are you? Hey, he eat the leather? Yeah. Hey, that's a nice seat. Don't eat that. Oh, he's biting. <laughs> he's biting. Dude, he put your f whole bat, like bicep in his mouth. His brother. Where are you? Hey, no. He just tried biting my leg. Hey, Ralph, I am not a Scooby snack. Do not. Dude, he just bit my calf. He put my whole calf in his mouth. I'm gonna get out of here before we die. Should we just go straight and get out that way? It might be easier. Dude, he's gonna hurt somebody. He's bitey. I've never seen, yeah. he's kinky today. I've never seen him bite like that. Hey, hey, that's a, no. He's coming for oh, you, Jake. No. Be careful. <laughs> Oh, the chain, the chain. Hang on. Hang oh. it. Rip. 
You knocked the chain off. It's fine. Oh, we okay, just gotta put it back on. Dude, that jump was impressive. <laughs> you he he sent it, bro. <laughs> you sent it. I was scared for my life. It is scary. I saw you hanging on to the other bar. You drove yeah. one wheel or one hand <laughs> on the wheel. On. You gotta tow it back. So mine have juice to tow it back. You think? Oh yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> that oh, jump is like so sketch because dude, it's like it's flat. It, yeah, it's, and then like yeah. a bump. Like, dude, I made it with my tractor before I had a skid loader, and that's what we took the mini off. But we used to send the mini off that sucker. You got a front bumper on it. You think you could just butt up to the back of his and just kind of push it back? Just push it? Yeah. I could always push on oh, the tire, too. Yeah. The tire. Oh, that's hilarious. Dude, that We're jump was sick, through. though. I'm glad we got it on camera. I, that, it, was like, that was a good jump. off, like, in the air, because I yeah. felt it. When I came down, yeah. I was on the gas, and it was like, <laughs> Oh, that was badass. All right. You need a helmet. Yeah, You're you don't helmet. be dumb like us. You need helmets for this stuff. Do you almost rolled it, and then you sent it off? Woo! All right. So you want to sit and steer, and I'll just yeah, we play can do bumper that. cars? Yeah, we can do that. All right. Or I can just go get a strap, too. I can just walk back and grab a strap, but that's easier. Hey, go ahead. I'll hang out. Yeah, yeah we're fine. You, guys off. you go grab a strap and we'll be all right. We'll tell her back. Well, it wouldn't be a video if we didn't break something. Yeehaw, cowboy. All right, well, we got to get a few more of these. Oh, Dude, and they like fit the vibe. I feel like I we're in like know. a safari, bro. Yeah. They're just like for some reason and, like, mini. Well, Dick's going to grab a tow strap, limp her back, see so if we can get the chain back on. Stay tuned. Dude, this would be like, this is like a childhood dream. You get one of them, you need to play like army. Oh, one yeah. of them's like the medic, one's like the mechanic, and it's like radioing a man, it's like, like imagine him just showing up as like the medic, and he's just like, all right, like in like a huge like paintball war or something like that. Paint, paintball Dude. or firework, like Roman oh, King. Yes, battle. yes. Paintball. Yes, bro. Literally like play army with these little suckers. They're so sick, dude. All right, ready to tow her up. There we go. All right, go ahead and get them tight. Yeah. It won't turn with that weight on the back. It's locked up on us. Did the chain catch or something? Oh yeah, it did. Shoot, we got a limp back, boys. Look, it's like, I'm telling you, this is gonna be the beefcake garage. We're gonna be tinkering the toy soup and stuff up. I'm liking it so far. It's stuff I've never messed with. I always love getting into like new categories of like just adventure, whether it's hunting, fishing, trapping, farming, you name it. As long as it's a fun, exhilarating adventure and stuff breaks and what needs to be fixed, sign me up. So go ahead and block that guy up. Block's not tall enough. You think you guys can get it? Yes. All right, so the chain basically just came off, which I would imagine hitting a jump like Luke did it. That's not really a huge surprise. So now the question is, can you get it back on and how you tighten it? That stuff, <laughs> that stuff's all foreign to me. I'm sure it's not hard. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Dude, should just change the sprocket right now while we're here. We're already taking it off. Yes, comment down below again. What do we need to do? Underglow, light bars, you name it. We have a big, we already have one bigger sprocket that the that we bought from. We always change one, keep one stock, so then you can see like what the actual difference is on top end speed. I think I'm on it. I'm really? It's a little loose. Yeah, I'm sure that, well, there's gotta be a way to tighten. We need to figure that out. There's no way. It probably wasn't tight. There's no way it was that loose. You want me to look up how to tighten it? All right, I'll get to Googling. There you go. Well, no more rattle. No more rattle. Send it right off again. Take her off that jump back there, buddy. All right, God, we literally just tore this sucker apart for literally no reason because the guy we got it from didn't know how to tighten. I put Loctite on everything except for the things that just fell except off. For the except for the entire thing. He's like, oh, you know what? This, hey, that ain't going nowhere. There's Loctite on there, buddy. I swear to God. But you know what? Your axle will just come flying off. So sorry about that. All right, let's see what we got here. Yep. Yep. Put it first, there.
Comment down below. What should we do to these suckers next? Besides break them. I'd rather not, but man, we can fix them. Tell you, Beefcake Garage, we'll break them, we'll fix them. It's the model right there. So let us know what you guys think of the Jeeps. Brand new whips. See what we we should add. I'm thinking light bar, winch, snow plow, underglow, bigger tires, horns, larger sprocket. We can go faster. Anyway, so let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in the next one. And peace.